Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Carol the Diva. Today I'm going to be installing some false cara by Kiss product. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, these are some individual um, lash cluster that you would apply not on the top of your lids but under and I'm going to show you them momentarily. So this is what they look like and the thing about these that I like way more than the strips is you put these under your eyelids instead of on top and because you put them underneath they look so much more natural when you look at them it's kind of hard to tell that you're actually wearing um, false lashes and you could do this from home so these are the stuff that I got in the box that I'm showing you and I will you know explain some of these things in a few so this is gonna be the seal that you would use if you're gonna keep it on for a week or so and this is the remover and it looks like half a bottle that's because I have to shake it up finally in the box this is a mirror but <laughs> there's so much light on it you can't really see what I'm showing you so here it is um, with low light um, it's a mirror that I got with the products and um, yeah, I'm going to be using this mirror as I apply these lashes today. This is the one that I've decided to use today because it looks natural. It's not too thick. And this is the tool that I'm going to be using to apply them. So on the pack of the one that I'm going to be using today, you could see where it says small, medium, medium, and large. And that's the sizes. And I'm going to be using small and medium today. This is the adhesive I'm going to be using for the lashes and on one side it says bond and the other side it says seal. So here on the low light I'm showing you better guys what it says. So we want to use um, bond first and then seal after as I'm going to show you. So I'm applying the bond right now and I'm only applying it to a little section where I'm going to apply my first um, piece of lash and the reason why I'm doing this is because according to the makeup artist Hash Comb, um, she said to just apply it to small area first because it does dry fast and so working in smaller sections is much better. As you can see, I'm applying my first cluster here and it just attach on like magnet so easy. Another tip the makeup artist gave us is that we could apply some of the seal, which is the other side that I'm not ready to use yet, onto the one that I'm using to attach the lashes on. And this will help to prevent um, the bond from having the lash stick onto it. So when you put it onto your eye, it doesn't come back off because it's sticky. I'm going to go ahead and attach another one. So I'm putting the bond exactly where I'm going to be putting the other lash cluster. So I'm looking down in the mirror and I'm attaching the lash directly under my eyelid. And I'm being careful not to push it too much under because that will cause irritation on the eyes. And as you can see, it goes on so easy and I'm proud of myself because this is my first time doing it. So for my first eye, I did two medium and then one small um, and I put the small at the inner corner because I want to give it this nice natural look so I make sure to put the shorter one last but for the second eye, I managed to put four of them and before I ended the video, I took them back off the first one and try to fit four on it just so it will look, you know, more alike, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's really not that hard to do, but because it's my first time, I really had to get a hang of it. And as soon as I start getting a hang of it, I was getting better at it. Now I'm using the other side, which is opposite from the bond. And this is the seal. So I'm using this to seal them now. And this will keep them attached on for, you know, maybe a day or so. But if you want them to last longer, there's another seal I have in my kit that will make them last for like 10 days. Now I'm moving on to the other side and I'm just going to do the same thing that I did on the first side. So like I said, for this side, I was doing it so much better and practically became a pro. 
so again you want to add the bond right where you're going to put the cluster and this is because you know we might not be moving fast enough and it dries fast so in in order to spare yourself from adding too much bond you just add a little right where you're going to put that cluster and then when you're ready to put the other one you add a little and keep doing it like that i'm gonna be leaving a link in my description box where you guys could purchase um these false cara and also get a discount when you buy them if you want to wear some lashes that looks natural and also last for a long time because these last for up to 10 days then i would highly suggest that you get yourself some of these because you can do them yourself at home and save you some money this is the finished look you guys i'm gonna leave some pictures at the end so you could see it even better because i realized that the video does them no justice or that's how i feel but anyway guys definitely check out the description box for the discount code and the link to get yourself some of these let me know down in the comment guys what you think about these and if it's something that you're willing to try i really think it's worth trying so definitely go for it if you think this video was helpful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.